I am so excited for this game. If you guys have been around the channel for some time, you know that we've been playing so many classic games over the years. And one of the games that has stood out over the years, every now and then, and I see it in the comments, is Alan Wake. And I've been meaning to play this game for you guys for so long now and play it for myself. But then we heard the rumors. It was gonna be getting a remaster. And well, here we are today, finally. The rumors were true. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome officially to Alan Wake Remastered. Now this game is available on the Epic Store, the Microsoft and the PlayStation Store. This is in fact gonna be the first time that it's available on PlayStation. And both on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, this game will in fact run at 4K 60 FPS. Now for the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, you can run the game at 60 FPS on performance mode and 30 FPS on quality mode. If you wanna know more on how you can get your hands on this game or simply want more information, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. It'll be the first link down below. I know some of you are probably gonna be curious if you are like me and you're really heavy into graphics and considering that this game is in fact a remaster, you probably wanna know what exactly is different with this game as opposed to the original. So basically, Alan Wake Remastered as a redone cinematic cutscenes with improved facial animation and lip sync. It's also got richer environmental details with improved textures and additional geometry. They've even gone ahead and enhanced the character models within the game and improved their, not only their hair, but the skin shaders to the characters, as well as updated visual effects and lighting within the game. Now guys, before we begin, I just wanna give a big thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video to be able to bring this video to you guys early. So thank you guys, and I hope you all enjoy. I cannot wait to experience this game. And without further ado, let's do this. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Man. By the way, this is in fact my first time ever experiencing this game. I've known about it for so I've long. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. So mysterious, I love it. Perfect for Following October. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Whoa. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. Oh, wow. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? Suddenly, his body was gone. <laughs> Episode one, Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh, this looks nice. I've seen what the, you know, like what the original game looks like. So look up at the lights. Reverse your controls. Uh, no, I like it just like that. And change camera settings in the options. Oh man, look at that buttery smooth. Well, we're playing over 100 FPS. We're actually playing this on the PC with the controller. Oh my God. Checkpoint reached. Hold down LB to sprint. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Man, it feels so smooth. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. All right, so off to the lighthouse we go. Get to the lighthouse. Just gonna explore here a little bit. Oh man, it actually feels really nice. 
Like, really, really nice. Oof, look at that. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. Spooky. Very spooky. Ooh. Yeah, totally, totally normal. Why is he? You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Wait, am I supposed you to run? You can just make up stuff. Play with people's lives and kill them. Wait, 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 wait. I can't jump down. You're in this story now. Ah! Whoa! You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. All right, get to the lighthouse. All right, you know what? We're gonna get to the sir. You need to calm down, okay? He disappeared. That's me right there. We're missing. What the hell? Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> you missed your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. I love this. Yes. Oh shit. You can't stop me. Try again and dodge the attack. Okay. Oh my god, he almost got me. <laughs> Good work. Successful dodges are sometimes highlighted with a cinematic. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh my god. Get to the lighthouse. Yo, I love games like this, like this mystery. Oh my god. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Okay, okay. Um, this is definitely, most definitely, a nightmare. Oh, come on, we can do this. We're almost there. Oh, do we have like a, a stamina meter or something? He got pretty tired. Oh, God. Here we go. The bridge that always breaks. These bridges in games and movies, they always end up breaking in half. Fortunately for us, that, that didn't happen. You see, if you just give me your gun, sir. Bro, these are all characters within the story. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Stop. Uh -oh. Oh wow, he killed him for real. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty scary, man. That's like creepy as hell. There was no way out. It's the lighthouse checkpoint reached. Uh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do I go out through here? What the fuck is happening? Whoa! The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Where, where would I? Oh my god! Get to the lighthouse. Okay, well, I'm already 90% dead, so what's the point of following the light at this point? You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay, go into the safe haven. No way. Oh, shoot, that's cool. <laughs> I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know 
that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green. Who's this god? Where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. I've always heard that this game has got a crazy plot, so your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. Good mm. sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Oh shoot. A flashlight. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Oh my god. Jesus. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Oh, you're no god. God wouldn't give me a damn revolver. But hey, <laughs> don't mind if I do. With pleasure, asshole. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. That's an interesting story. Boosting the light with LT blinds the enemies and burns the darkness away faster. Okay, so we've got multiple weapons now. Right off the bat, we've got a light. A flashlight, excuse me. Stay away. Stay away, damn it. So we're using the light as like where he's gonna get shot. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome. We're actually using the flashlight beam to aim. That is genius. That is freaking genius. Christ, okay, I, I need a safe haven right now. Like, I, I need some health. This is not looking good. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. What the heck is this? A flare gun? Really? Oh, this shit's pretty awesome. Dude, I like this. This is incredible. Man, we've been wanting to play this game for so long. I can't believe it's... It's funny, it's like I got a remaster. What are the chances of that? Die, asshole! No! I don't want to do that, but... <laughs> Holy fuck! Alright. If that works, then I guess... I guess that's that. Man, look at this. This is incredible, huh? Goodbye, loser. Oh, I no. Keep this up uh, yeah, I'm out. Oh, my God.
Oh god, I'm tired. Ah, oh, we're good. Jesus. Just threw a tire at the back of my head. <laughs> I was trying to get a little scene for the for the thumbnail, you know? Come on, come on, run, run, run! But you need to run faster! Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Wow. Welcome to Bright Falls. So beautiful. This nice little town. Man, this game's actually got some pretty spooky moments. I will say that. Checkpoint reached. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Oh, so she's a photographer. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. What is that, a Lincoln? It's supposed to be a Lincoln? <laughs> Pose for Alice. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wayne. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna go south real quick. Real, real quick. All right, honey, you got the pictures you wanted or what? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll mm -hmm. hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax. Charge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And <laughs> you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Hmm. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. <laughs> it says hi to you too. 
That must suck. Like you just want to go Caroline, and unwind and. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay, which one's our car? Is this our car? Or is it the really nice classic over there? It's this one. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Interesting. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Oh my god. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. <laughs> I, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, oh my god. god. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. What a dick Rose, though, dude. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. What a I dick. can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. <laughs> Good for you. What is this? Uh, That's me. Right. So much for Try the caution. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that yeah, makes two of us. Man, I freaking love this atmosphere. It's so freaking cool. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Oh my god. Alan Wake. Do you like believe it? Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? <laughs> you disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I, I think the radio actually has copyright music, so I don't know if yeah, I want to play that. I'm in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, the radio music has a uh, copyright. I've got to be careful. What's wrong with this woman? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Ma'am. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. God, what a dick. Hello? I'm sorry I didn't play the radio. I just... I know it's going to give me trouble. Mr. Stuckey? Oh. Carl couldn't make what it. What the fuck? Unfortunately, he's taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Bro, that is creepy. That... Okay, well, you don't look so creepy now, but you did in the cutscene, woman. You better relax. Better get to step Cauldron six... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Six feet away, woman, or I'll knock your teeth in. No, no I won't. I'm a gentle soul, but I, I'm just saying. I'm nervous. It's her voice, well, man. This time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Lady, will you this just relax? Even that sounds better than your singing. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good oh, to see you. Oh, God. Hey. You wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Why are they calling me Tom, bro? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Thanks for the info, sir. 
All right, my biggest fan. I'll catch you later, Stan. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! What? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> what? Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bro. That is crazy. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Wow, let me see something. If I go to options, I think we have uh, under graphics, we have the FOV. Let me see what happens if we change it. Okay, it actually goes. I want to see it with the FOV all the way like to the max. See how much of the scenery we can get. Eh, not much. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. It's freaking cool. Okay, let's go back to the regular. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. My bad. I kind of like the extended uh, FOV, like the wide FOV. It's nice. Bird leg cabin. Interesting. Is she still back there? Oh, she's coming. Honey, hurry up. Getting kind of hungry. I'm being completely honest. And my creative juices are flowing right now. So, hey, it's a good time. Dude, this is so sus. Oh, my God. We open. Nice. It's dark in there. We need lights. Yes. Can you figure out how to get the uh, power on, honey? I'm, I'm going. Oh God. Why is this open? What the hell's in Hello? here? Anyone here? Yo, this game's actually freaky, bro. Whoa, nobody told me about this. Sir, ma'am. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a professional writer. I demand answers, damn it. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. What the f damn fuck? Bro, this game is spooky, bro. What the hell? I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Somewhere on the island. Really? That lady that lady brought us here, bro. She doomed us. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s. Or even earlier. She freaking doomed us, bro. I'm telling you, she doomed us. We're here to die. We're not here to survive. We're not here on a vacation. 
We're here to rot in this so-called island. But it's okay. I'm a famous writer. I got this. You mess with me, I'm picking up the paper and pencil and stabbing you. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist wow. was. Wow. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main. I'm KBFFM. And now, some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. All right, so let me see if I can turn that music off, because I don't want that music here. It's going to give me a strike. Turn it off. No, can't turn it off. Wow, bro. So get the power on. Focus. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Remember the guy, the the guy in the picture, right? Like that scuba diver or whatever. So maybe there's nothing here. Well, fortunately for us, there's another whole side of the island. We're going to head to right now and see if we can find this generator. I wish I could kind of mute the music and the radio so it'd be a little bit easier. Less things I have to worry about. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, hold on. Hmm, examine. What is this? The island had once been the site for a love story. Aw. Maybe it would be that again. Oh, look at him. He's got hopes of romance. Okay, this little shed probably has An what we need. The generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, I like this. <laughs> it's about to fall in half. Oh god. I wouldn't be surprised if the lights go out again. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. I don't like where this is going. I don't like I, I have a little bit of a brief a idea. Place. I told myself I could rest here. Sleep here. And forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Thought? You're speaking past tense here, uh, Mr. Allen. Okay, when uh, is displayed on the screen? Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Look at this. Game is really nice. Um, as I was saying, I have a little bit of a brief idea of as to what the story is about, you know, like the synopsis basically. But that's about it. And I, I just want to say I've I've got some pretty creepy vibes of this place right now. <laughs> just saying. I I wouldn't mind picking up that axe though. You never know when it's gonna come in handy and slice somebody in the face. Honey, I'm back inside. I've been out for like Alice? five hours. Honey? Why is the door open again? What? Honey! Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. Oh. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Honey, how dare you tease me like that? You know what it is to come upstairs and the first thing I see is that? Oh, wow. Surprise. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you. 
everyone hey, keeps... Hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Bro, I have goosebumps, dude. That lady is fucking freaky. Don't leave her alone in there, dude. Damn it. <sighs> Do not. Alice? Alice? had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's alright! I'm coming! No! Alice! Help me! Yo! What the fuck? Sorry, buckos. What the hell? No fucking way. Oh no. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? What? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Bro. Among Unbelievable. Was a book, the Creator's Dilemma. By a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I like how the car is called Linden. <laughs> Something like that. So, in reality, why is... This is so trippy. That's our car we crashed. Apparently. Unless this is the nightmare. The gas station was my best bet. They yeah. had a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Man, this is crazy, bro. Who was that lady, Damn. man? Oh, there goes that. Yep. Woohoo. Oh, the game plays so freaking smooth, man. Unbelievable. Is there anybody out there? Hello? Is someone there? He's gonna feel like crap, dude. If, if his wife really died, he's gonna feel so bad. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. Hmm. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You have found a manuscript page. You can access them with... Um, okay, so the title page of the manuscript. Departure by Alan Wake. Oh. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows hmm. were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. 
but I was awake. Hmm. I like how he reads it for us. You know, we don't have to read it. I freaking love that. You found manuscript pages. All right, Mr. Allen, we're gonna have to be careful here. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Be careful, Allen. Checkpoint reached. Oh, God. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Hmm. Can we explore a little bit here? Possibly not. Ooh, some big thorns. Jesus. All right, well, here we go. Oh, this looks creepy, dude. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation. Has required. Fair and square. Okay, Carl, I, I need help. Okay, but I, I gotta go, I gotta go. I've been in an accident. I don't wanna die. Oh shit. Hold on, I gotta read this. It stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay. Oh. Well, oh, I can't go that way. <laughs> There's that. Yo, what is up with this guy? Okay, whatever, keep the deposit. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> the Shining, what a crazy movie. There it is. Power of light. Pick up batteries. I like that the flashlight batteries don't run out unless you're pointing the unless you're pointing it, you know what I mean? Trying It's the latest Yes in Right fall character. Roman! Hello? Hello? No way. One Was I supposed to do that? I th I think so. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, automatic opening barn doors. <laughs> More of them. Right. Asshole. Not, not today. My head pounded with a concussion. 
I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Ooh, what is this? Does this take us somewhere? I feel like this takes us somewhere. Eerie hand-painted oh. graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Okay. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Nice. That's actually really nice. Ah, right, let's go. No way. I could have used that. Are you kidding me? So we kicked it and broke it, so now the, the, the lighting. The last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. No I electricity. To to the gas station. You can jump across. Perfect. And I like the uh, the tiring mechanism. Sorry, Bucko. But you did. Oh, what is this? We've got a cabin here. Or not? Okay, I don't want to I don't want to read that one just just in case. That's a little bit further down. Should we? Ask her. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake, not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Hmm. Is that woman, bro? I hate her ass. What the hell was that? Oh my god. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay, so find a way across, possibly through here. Oh, what is this? Other coffee thermos? Okay, I have a feeling it's not this way. It's the other way. So I knew this game was going to be like a little mysterious and stuff, but I've been surprised, honestly, with like the terrifying moments that it's had. Because <laughs> it's definitely had some scary moments. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Well, Stucky's gonna die right now. That's what I say. Got more revolver ammo and batteries. Uh, you screwed up. You don't messed up, Stucky. You're gonna die. I'm just making sure there's nothing. What is that? I wonder if I was able to open that up. Oh, there's one right here. That's probably just a piece of, like, cabinet. Oh, no. It's your problem. A weapon sounds really nice. Like, it's satisfying. Really satisfying. I love it. I wonder if we'll ever get an Alan Wake 2, you know? Considering that they just did a remaster. That could be a little hint there. I don't know. We'll find out once we finish the game. Because we'll know if the game's got like some sort of like continuation possibility. Depending on the ending. Hmm. I 
hear somebody breathing in the woods. Gotta be careful. Can't trust anyone here. Okay, I think it told me to come this way. Yep. What? The Taken are filled taken. with They're taken. weakness. What? Alright, who's in here, bro? Whose breathing is that? Is that my own breathing? I don't think I like the fact that when I pick up a weapon, it automatically swaps my current weapon for that weapon. That's how I actually shot it accidentally on, on the first portion of the story. Oh, I got to reload. All right, we've got 17 battery packs. That's amazing. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Okay, I love the narration. Obviously, it's like his book. Open the emergency box. More ammo and batteries. Can't say no to that, bro. Ooh. Got something over here. Something green. Something potentially very useful. Oh, we've got more of you guys. Oh, who the frick? Back away! Back away! Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ooh. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came, I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. No way. You got a shotgun? Are you kidding me? Nobody told me that. Oh, God, we're about to destroy this man. Okay, we've got that now. Perfect. Let me check this uh this ladder really quickly. I'm sure there's nothing up here that we're missing. Hmm. No, we're good. Oh nice! Well, we do need to go back up there. I see now. Makes sense. I also like the whole puzzle aspect, man. That's neat. It's not just like a walking simulator with a good story. It's it's got some little puzzle elements and some pretty solid combat. Like the gunplay is not half bad. Oh, what is that? Another coffee? Eh, I'm not gonna go down there for that crap. I also like how subtle and small the little mini map is. <laughs> or a compass or whatever that is. Whatever we're calling it. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. 
you listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl. When it's on nights like this, I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and don't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he just gets some for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Okay. Um, let's open this. Oops, sorry. Open this up. So the good thing about the radios is that they give us some pretty interesting stories, and honestly, some things that actually correlate to the to the actual story of what's happening now. Like we might actually come across that dog. You never know. But then they've got this music playing, which again, I ain't too fan, fond of the copyright strikes. All right, let's see what this says. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they mm. held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Hmm. Interesting. I want to see what's going on here. What? The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Burster is the best with no cops. That's the dog. His second best. The famous dog is. What? Is that the dog? Whoa, dude. Alright, so 20 batteries is the max. So that was a little safe haven light. God. Perfect. Let's go this way. Another manuscript. I know I can use a shotgun, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't have a whole lot of shells anyways. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. All right. It's up here, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, cool. Here we go. Nice. They are not shy on giving you supplies whatsoever. All right, we don't have to go here, but I do want to see what we got. Here it is. I also make it that they don't make these too hard to find. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got 11 flare gun ammo. That's crazy. You guys need to calm down, man. All right. You guys are just a bunch of weirdos. Oh. We the magnificent. There. 
That's right, asshole! Alright, let's see what this one says. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. So I'm thinking every episode's got different manuscripts. Ooh, more shotgun shells. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. Oh my god. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. Hmm. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. <laughs> Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. Wow. Springs. That was a good little watch. Appreciate it. Hmm. All right, let's go. Back to the action. I'm dying to go head to head with this man. Hopefully, we, we have like some sort of boss fight ish, if you will. Oh, that's not him, is it? I think that is him. Come on, bro. There he is. He's coming. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so there is a boss fight. Oh, 
Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shotgun time. <laughs> yes. Well, that did the job. Body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the that, the gas station alive. That definitely did the job. That was fun. Shit. That was really fun. Alright. Okay. Let's go through the gate here. Perfect. Oh look, that's that big deer we saw. Uh, well, we're coming I to that ferry. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when yep. I first arrived with Alice. Sorry, Alan. Your Alice is not After the in insanity Wonderland. I just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Oh, another manuscript. Here we go. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Hmm. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. I wonder if we gotta if it's better to do those the after we beat the episode away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. Wow. But was, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if um we should look in, into the manuscripts I had after. I to get inside the gas station you know? and find a phone to call for help. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that wow. there'd been some kind of fight. Whoa. That looks trippy. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Oh, wow. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? The 60th Annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. <clears throat> Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, and surprise competitions, live music. The children book tooth Charlie afternoons, and uh, Montgomery, the Mystic's amazing... Phantasmagoria evenings. Do not miss the legendary deer fist parade. Okay, let's use the phone. That's what we came here to do, anyways. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. What the hell? Insane. Crazy plot twist, huh? <laughs> it's 
island's not even there. <laughs> Bro, that is nuts. No, my God, what the? F How? All right, guys. So we're gonna end this video here. This was phenomenal. I cannot wait. I think there's six episodes in total. So I'm really, really excited. Expect all the episodes here throughout the next couple of days on the channel. And again, I just want to give a huge thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. And most importantly, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. What an interesting little game. I am, I am super excited. So again, thanks. And I will catch you guys on the next one.